Hey guys, Andy again here. Um, I wanted to put this video online for how I made it a couple weeks ago, but I kind of want to do it like a, a lesson, and I guess lesson one is already online. This is a uh, on a, the surface tension of water, and in my bushcraft water collector where I run the water down the hill on the paracord is it has to be lesson one because it's actually the surface tension of the water that holds the water to the paracord as it's running down the hill it's the it's like the gravity between the molecules of the water they don't want to separate and they kind of hold together just like you know the planets hold together and revolve around the sun I mean it's kind of the same concept so uh, it's the, the molecules of the water wanting to stay together that actually lets the water run down that paracord down the hill. So this video that you're about to see is lesson number two on the surface tension of water. And it is a needle compass with a steel sewing needle floating on the water. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you guys like and subscribe. Hey everybody, uh, Andy here again. Um, got a little trick that I want to show you that uh, probably uh, not a lot of people know about. And uh, if you told somebody without without them seeing it, they probably wouldn't believe you. We're going to uh, make a compass with uh, a sewing needle. Uh, you have to have a, a non-magnetic container to hold some water. Uh, a magnet and uh, a piece of tissue paper. So, we've got our tissue paper here, just a small piece. I have a, a little sewing needle, just a, what you'd use for sewing up your socks or whatever. And, uh, and a little magnet here. And if you rub the, the needle on the magnet, you will actually magnetize the needle and with this piece of tissue paper you can actually make this needle float on water you gotta do it kinda quickly here but you have to do it carefully drop the tissue paper in drop the needle on the tissue paper now the uh... like I said the container has to be non-magnetic or the magnetized needle is gonna go right to the to the container so uh, if you leave it set there long enough the tissue paper will settle and that needle will stay floating on that water and I, I know that seems hard to believe but let me see if I can push that tissue paper down and get it out of there there you go so now you can I know you can see that. You can see that needle there floating on the surface of that water. And that's caused by the, the surface tension, is what they call it. It is the, the molecules of water, the force holding themselves together, almost like the, oh, it's almost like gravity between the molecules of water. The force or gravity between those molecules holding each other together is stronger than what that needle needs to break through the surface of the water. It's the same way those little bugs that you see that jump around on the water, it's the same way they float. Their, uh, their feet create enough surface area to where they don't break through the surface tension of the water. And I'll sink this after I'm done, but I just wanted to show you that I, I magnetized the needle and you can see that that needle is, you know, it's pointing north and south. Let me see if I can uh, move it here without sinking it so you can see it come back see and uh, yeah it comes right back and I will uh, try to get a, a zoom in here so you can actually see that needle floating and then uh, I'm gonna sink it just so you can see that it really is a sewing needle and it really does sink just push down on the end, bam, it's gone. So, yeah, that's just a pretty neat little trick there. Um, you know, if you told somebody you could 
float a, a steel sewing needle on water, they probably wouldn't believe you, but uh, I just showed you how to do it. So uh, I know it's a, a short little video. I uh, will uh, maybe try to tag something on the end. Uh, hope you like the video.